Pentagon chief James Mattis has warned that Iran and Israel may be headed for a military confrontation, accusing Tehran of waging a proxy war in the region. Speaking at a hearing in Congress, Mattis said a military confrontation between Israel and Iran in Syria is becoming increasingly likely. The Pentagon chief also implied that Iran is to blame for tensions in the region as it continues to do its proxy work there through Hezbollah. Mattis said the possible battlefield between Iran and the Israeli regime will be Syria, where government forces backed by Russia and Iran have nearly totally defeated militant groups backed by the West. Israel definitely wants to attempt this in some way. It wants the United States to carry out strikes on Syria. But it surely must know if this scenario happens, if there is a U.S. intervention in Syria, it's going to put Israel in a very, very weak position, and possibly it could be national suicide for them. Bringing the United States into Syria may spark a global war, and in which case it's going to be a war which is going to include Israel. Israel has to know at this point it cannot defeat Iran, it cannot defeat Syria, it cannot defeat Hezbollah, and it's uh, it's days of being able to just go and uh, invade and destroy neighboring uh, armies is over. Meanwhile, Israel's Minister of Military Affairs, Avigdor Lieberman, visit the U.S. for talks with Mattis, with Iran and its presence in Syria topping the agenda. Israel's ambassador to the U.N., Danny Dannon, has said Iran has recruited 80,000 fighters in Syria. Israel has been accused of overstating Iran's presence in Syria as part of its psychological warfare against the Islamic Republic. Tehran says it has only deployed military advisors in Syria to help Damascus in its fight against terrorist groups. This is while Israel is said to have repeatedly helped the armed groups whose aim was to topple the Syrian government, most notably Nusra Front terrorists. Iran's role in Syria and even in Iraq has been fruitful and even obviated the need for the U.S. military presence in the two Arab countries. Israel, in its propaganda campaign of, of recent and, of course, uh, uh, before that as well, have tried to paint a picture as to uh, why Iran are in Syria. And they try and say that Iran are in Syria for the purpose of threat, building up a force to threaten Israel. They want to say that they are building up this massive Shia force, this massive Shia unit that is going to instantly invade Israel when the uh, war in Syria is over. Trying to assert crazy things like this, as they do all the time in their media. Israel has always played the victim in its war of words with Iran, accusing the Islamic Republic of seeking to destroy the Israeli regime through a war. The state of Israel at the moment has been behaving and has behaved for its uh, 70 years uh, of existence as a criminal state, as an apartheid state, as a state which has been involved in every act of criminality imaginable around the planet, uh, and especially against the Palestinians and its neighbors. It's now, because of its actions and because of it dragging in the United States into wars in the region, it's now built up a strong axis of resistance against it, whereas it cannot attack and destroy countries like it used to be able to. Iran has frequently said it does not seek war. It has, however, said Israel itself is headed for collapse and that this will eventually happen as a result of Israel's actions and not through a war. The Israeli regime has on multiple occasions tried to drag the U.S. into a war on Iran, but it has so far failed to do so. Israel is notorious for feeding off war and violence since its creation in 1948.